All right, what's going on, everyone? We're back with Magic Spell Slingers today, playing with Gideon. So Gideon's interesting. He is an aggro spell slinger. His ability is after you attack with three or more creatures, you summon a Gideon, and Gideon is just a 4-4. He's invulnerable, but all we care about is just attacking with three creatures. So, things that are important to us for Gideon is things that either survive combat or make multiple creatures. So the way we survive combat is with really bad cards like this. Two mana, one three, absolutely terrible, but it has armor. What this means is when it takes damage, it just prevents that damage and loses the armor. So it takes damage twice. So what this does is if we have like say three creatures with armor, we can just attack with all of them. None of them are gonna die, but it's gonna proc Gideon, give us a free four four attacking and then we can do it again next turn. And that's all that matters is just getting numbers on the battlefield and getting free attacks with Gideon. So we want armor. We have multiple things with armor. This has armor. This has armor. This has armor. And the other thing we want is just ways to get numbers on the battlefield. Like with Blink Dog Pack. This is another terrible card. Two mana, one, one. When you play it, you summon another one, one. It's not very good. But it gives us two creatures to help keep our creature count up so we can constantly get Gideon on the battlefield. And we have, you know, this also makes a 1-1. We want to play stuff that makes another thing to keep our numbers up. We also have this, which is going to add random white creatures to our hand because we need to constantly fill the battlefield. Ardent Supporter also adds a creature. And then we have ways to make our stuff a little bit bigger. We have that Glorious Anthem. We have a Devoted Steed that can pump stuff. We have Team Captain that pumps stuff. So our whole plan is to fill the board with aggressive creatures, make them bigger, and get free attacks with Gideon. That's the whole idea. Go fast, go wide, and try to overwhelm the opponent. So let's try that. Ashia, that's the last uh, spell slinger we played. Uh, I don't need two of these in my opening hand. Let's just uh, try to find some low cost creatures. Great. Um, fine. Going first, which is good. Uh, Ashiok is a little bit slow. That's good for me. All right, draw a one drop is perfect. So we'll play that. We will pass to the next thing I draw is going to have armor, which is great. The downside of this is every time I play it, the next thing I draw already had armor. And you can't have stacks of armor. You can't have like armor twice. So uh would be nice. So next creature we draw, definitely going to have armor already. But next turn, we can play this, get two, uh, two one ones, and that's going to get Gideon out already. Um, that did not have armor already, so that's good. All right, so we'll play this. Um, I'm not even going to, I would normally just attack see if they want to trade, because I don't want them to get this card. Um, but I want Gideon out, so they're going to hit me for two. Yep, get a card, which gives me a nightmare. Um, we can see that here. If you don't know how that works, go check out my Ashiok video, but... Every time they get a free card in their deck from stuff like this, they put a Nightmare, and then I lose. Oh, god dang it. Alright, so I don't have enough attackers now. Um, so I would like to play this. It might be better to get two creatures on the battlefield. I think. So let's just do this. It's not very mana efficient, but that's fine. So next turn, we have four attackers. We'll get Gideon. Um, if you're playing against Gideon... It's pretty important to try to manage their creatures. You want them to have two or less. All right, so that's what they got out of my deck. Sure, with uh, with this. All right, they have blockers, but they're out of mana, so I am attacking. If they attack with this, I block it. They don't, which is uh, you know, pretty smart. There's the nightmare, so I drain one. Uh, attack all out. Maybe yeah, I can. Attack, because they're going to block one with the 1-3 no matter what. And then the other 1-1 one, one kills either one of these, so. So there's the Gideon. Just a free attacker, basically. You get a free kill on a 1-1. One, one. Great. Still got six damage coming through. Trade there, that's fine. So they take five. And what I can do... Is I can play this, get a soldier, and that means I get Gideon again. See, that's why that's important, right? Play this, get a 1-1. Now I have three creatures, 
And staying at three creatures or more is the, the name of the game with Gideon. That's why stuff that adds another... Like you would think, wouldn't you just want like a four mana 5-5? Five, five? And maybe normally, yes. But with this deck, we want, we would prefer a 4-4 four, four and a 1-1. One, one, um, just because that helps us get Gideon out. The stun means I will not be able to get Gideon. Um, I will take this one. That's another great thing about armor is it does allow us to block and still have multiple uh, multiple attackers. I'm going to play this first to see what thing I get. To see if it's something I want to play. Not really. I will play this and then attack for one. And we will pass. So next turn, very likely we get a Gideon again. How many nightmares we have? We have two. Not a big deal. Going to have three. Three nightmares. They attack with a 2-3. I definitely block and kill it. Um, This thing will double nightmares. I don't think they're going to attack with it because they would have played this after they attacked. I would assume. I guess... Nah, I'd probably still kill it just to get it off the battlefield. I was going to say, I don't have to kill it. But, you know, it's fine. Okay, so there's a drain. Um, so let's attack with this, this, this. Um, the 2-1 isn't necessary to attack with, I don't think. So we'll just attack like so. I want to make sure I have creatures in the battlefield next turn so I can get this Gideon out again. Alright, block there. So that's going to stay as an armor, so that's fine. That's fine. I'm actually not going to be able to play any creatures, which is fine. It means my stuff stays on the battlefield. Sure. Alright, well our battlefield's full, so we're just gonna pass. Yeah, we'll pass. I mean, I could play one of these over top of this 1-1, one, one, but I don't think it's necessary. Shadow Stag is pretty good. It's gonna kill something for sure. How many Nightmares we have? We have five. Okay, that's pretty good. Shrinks all my stuff. Stun an enemy. Okay. That's very good. I can't kill this now. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to block it with this 2-2. Two -two. Um, I guess I'll block this with the 1-1. One -one. I'm not going to get a Gideon here because this is stunned. I only have one attacker. But I can play this and it's going to pick off these. It uh, deals one damage to each enemy creature that attacked. So it'll do one damage to both of these. That's pretty good. There's a drain. Alright, so I'll play this. Pick off their stuff. I'm at four mana. I guess I can play this to heal. Or do I care about having armor on something? Uh, I I'd rather heal. I think. Um, no point in attacking. So if they attack me with the 5-5, five, five, I just trade the zero one. one uh, It's not doing much. Um, I don't know what that did. Their land triggered. Starting turn 7, you have a chance to add a random zombie to your hand. Which, uh... Adds a nightmare to my deck. So that's pretty good. Trample, Relentless. Deal 5 damage to itself. Oh, debut, deal 5 damage to itself. What? That's weird. Um, yeah, so I can just block here. It's fine. So I guess if you can heal it, it's... That's so weird. I don't know. Odd. Alright, so what's this do? Uh, before a friendly creature fights, give it armor. Sounds pretty good. Let's do that. Attack. Get Gideon. Heal two. Block there, but I get the armor. So it doesn't die. So it's a 5-6 that it's when you cast a debut. Okay, so it's relentless, and when it when it comes back, it has the toughness. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Alright, so they take a bunch of damage, go to 9. Um, I'm going to play this, which has armor, and play this. It's going to give armor to whatever my top creature is. So I'm out of cards, but they're at 9. This, when it attacks, pumps everything. That's going to be very good. It's going to get power back to this Lingering Spirit. They've got a lot of power on board, which is a little scary. I might block here. I could take 10, go to 15. How many nightmares do I have? Eight? Eight nightmares is scary. If they attack all out, 
I guess I could block... No, I want this to attack multiple times. Okay, they don't attack with that, which is good. I definitely just take this 5. Yeah, I will take the 5, go to 20. And we're attacking for a ton of damage here. They have 3, they could have... Okay, I got a card too, a creature. That's very good. See, see that has... <laughs> that already had armor. And then I gave it armor with this, which did nothing. Um, so we'll attack. So this triggers, gets everything bigger. And that includes Gideon. I believe that stays, even if, uh, even if this dies, I believe this is still a 5-5 five five permanently now. Um, so they block there, that's fine. Trade there. And are they dead? Very close. Are they dead? They're dead. Well, there we go. Didn't even realize I had enough damage to kill them. But that's a uh, game one, win one with Gideon. We've got, okay, Gideon mirror match. Kind of scary because I don't have like a lot of cards on this game. So if the opponent plays more and it's a mirror match, they could just have like a, just a strictly better version of the deck. We'll put this back. That's pretty good. So we have a pretty aggressive start. What do you fight for? All right. So the danger here is that they just have a better deck because I don't have any money in this game. Uh, I'm just playing with whatever I have. Uh, so, yeah, it's kind of whatever. So if this is a more dedicated player who has spent money or stuff, like, they, they could just have a better deck. And there's not much I can do about that. Alright, well, attack. Alright, so we get Gideon. If they can't kill something here. Alright, zero threes are fine. They can't kill my stuff. Alright. So let's... I'm probably going to play this, so I'll attack for three, get a free Gideon. So they get free blocks, but I'm just concerned about the free four damage here. And they block it, so that's good. So they take two? Um, sure. And then I will play this flying thing, I think. Seems fine. Pass the turn. So what did that do? It returned it to their hand and gave it plus one, plus one? Is that what it was? After a friendly creature dies, returns to your hand, give it plus one, plus one. You won't it's pretty good. Turn. Sure, gives it armor, gives it plus one, plus one. Oh, it didn't give it plus one, plus one? Whatever. Alright, so... Play this. Give this plus one, plus one. Oh, it gives Gideon plus one, plus one. Right, I knew that. I'll give this armor so it can attack multiple times. Attack like this. Get a free Gideon. So it's five damage in the air. This is going to survive with the armor. Yeah, this is fine. And they could... Okay, they block there. That's not what I expected, but sure. That works. I thought they'd block Gideon with the one five since it has armor. But now they have three creatures that can attack me and get a, a Gideon of their own. I don't know what that did. But it killed my thing. Sure. Um. So let's kill this for sure. I think I just take seven. Sure, I'll take seven. They do have two mana. They could play another creature. Alright, that's uh, not bad. Let's give this armor attack with these. It's a 6-6. Six, six. Sure. And I can play this. Heal this. And play this. Great. So now we can attack with these two and this. Get a Gideon attack. Not lose any creatures on the battlefield. They don't have a Gideon this turn. With only two creatures. Um, set the power of all creatures to their current health. Well that is unfortunate. Well I can kill this. So that's good. Do I want to block the five? I guess I can. Great. 
All right, draw. Nope, I'm gonna get a free creature. And then draw. All right, so that's good. So I can refill my board. So probably we do with this, this, and this. Because this is gonna kill their stuff, right? Because they'll have three power. Get a free Gideon. We're definitely able to keep on the offense here, which is good. Hit them for seven. And then I can just refill my board. So you can see these aren't good, right? These two mana one ones are just terrible. But they keep our board full so we can get, you know, what we actually want, which is the, the Gideon attack. So they can attack with these, get a Gideon if they want. Oh, that's such a good card. I don't have that, but I wish I did. Um, for the rest of the game, after a friend of the creature attacks, it gets plus one, plus one. That's just crazy. I think it's worth killing one of these. Because it means they can't get a Gideon attack next turn. And then I take the rest. It's pretty bad. At this point, I don't know if I can win. It's like, jeez, man, that card's just broken. Alright, so they... They kill... My two attackers. My two one ones. This is very good though. It can block these two twos. Which are going to be three threes. Yes, they kill two of my dogs. They take seven. And then I play this, get another soldier. And play a four two. So this is feeling pretty good. We can even just peck away with this one one. Has flying. Can do a couple damage over a couple turns. They can't attack now. I have a 4-4 four, four that kills their thing. Killing, uh, sacrificing that steed to kill one of the two twos was important because now they can't get a Gideon here. This is, add an angel to your hand. Well, that'll have flying. So they are going to have a flyer for the spirit. But I think I just attack all out. That's pretty good. They can't get a Gideon. And I think I'm fine, right? Two creatures are guaranteed to get through. Yeah, so I just attack all out. They block Gideon, they block this, they still take three. So that works. That was a close one. I mean, it was a mirror match, so we're doing the same thing. So the important thing there is we were able to keep creatures on their battlefield and they couldn't. And that's that's like all that matters, right? It's just keep your battlefield full. That's what Gideon wants. All right, Chandra. Aggro versus aggro. Let's see uh, how this goes. Would definitely like to go first. That would be my preference. Um, we are not going first. I probably want to ditch this for faster stuff. That's fine. That's fine. So flying's good. Yeah, take four. So the early game pressure is going to be what's going to make or break this game. And they got pressure. <laughs> they got haste right off. Um, very scary. So I'm not going to match their damage. So I'm not going to play this and try to try to damage them. I'm going to play this. Trade. And this gives me another creature. Um, I'm not going to spend my empty mana gem this turn, I don't think. Yeah, so we'll trade here if they attack. Next turn, we can possibly play two of these. Oh, well, not trading. Okay, take two. We got this healing thing, so that's good. So maybe this turn we double lingering spirit. That would be, that's actually very nice. I think I play this. I'll play a lingering spirit so we can get a Gideon next turn though. So this can block the 2-1 goblin and still attack next turn to help get a Gideon out. So that's nice. That's a good card. It's going to deal a lot of damage to me. Yeah, so we block here. We take the three. Or the two. Sure. This turn we get a Gideon, though. We can put the armor here if we want. That could be good. Alright. Um. Yeah, let's put armor here. I do have this, but I'm probably going to need to play another creature. So we'll attack like this. They got a 5-5 five, five coming at them. This isn't going to die, so that's nice. They could, yeah, they could trade these. Oh, they have that. Okay, they're splashing white. That's pretty good. That's fine. So we only have two attackers, so... The solution to that 
is to play another attacker. I could, instead of playing this, I could play another Lingering Spirit and hold this up to trade here. And I think that's probably worth it. So I'll play this. I'll play this. Um, hold that up. Hold the trap up. So now if they attack with this 3-2, I can trade. It'll get armor from this. That's pretty good. They can block my Lingering Spirits. Alright, so trade here. Except it's not to trade. Just kill that. Yep, that's gone. I will... How important is it to have a Gideon this turn versus just, kill, just getting this pressure off? I think this is actually more valuable. I don't need a Gideon here. I'll, uh, I'll take a turn off. Get rid of that. That's very good. Holy crap. All right, I'll attack. See if they block. And this ensures I have three creatures. Because even, even if they trade, I will... I'll have Lingering Spirit. Yeah, I have all of these. So that's like perfect. Great. So I have four creatures. They could have that thing that does like three damage to one thing and one damage to everything else. And that would be devastating. Like they do three damage to this and then wipe out the rest of my board. Big yikes there. Don't want that. Oh my god, I called it. <laughs> I, I called the exact target too. That's rough. That is very rough. Oh my god, and they picked off my thing. Wow, that's a bummer. We might lose this one now. That was a very good play, and I called it too. Alright, that's very good. Probably play this. Play both of these. That gives me a Gideon next turn. Please don't have another one of the, the one damage to everything things. If they do, they should hit me. Because this isn't going to die. Oh, they don't have it, so that's fine. Alright. Great. Oh, that's going to pump that. Oh, no. That's so much damage. This is looking not good. Um, armor's nice. I guess I can do this. Attack. Get a Gideon, which is a 6-6. Six, six. So one of these is going to die, but we have another creature. Yeah, that's fine. That's dead. That's very good. It, we got rid of that with a free Gideon. So they think they're going to kill me with this, but I can heal at least. Yeah, so play this. Heal three. Heal three. Try to heal three. And pass. So this is dealing five per turn. So I'm still, still dead in a couple turns. But I get another Gideon attack here. That sucks. Never mind. I don't get another. Every time I say something, it's like, nope. The exact opposite happens. Um, yeah, so we'll kill this. Take four. Yeah, I'm dead next turn. I need something. Something to deal with this. I don't know if I have any removal. I'm not trying to remove stuff. We get a free creature, though. That could help. I'm um, just flying. And then this heals, so these are both good things. We'll play this. Um, no attacks. So I can block the 5-5 five five with my armor thing. I can block the 4-2 with my 2-4. There's another one. But I can do this. Great. I can block here. This is going to heal 2 when it attacks. Um, it's heal me. Heal the planeswalker the spell slinger which i never remember um great so let's attack attack and attack this way they don't get a free kill here with the tutu this gives us a six six this only deals one damage if it dealt two it would have been perfect i could have killed that that's gone holy crap are we gonna hold on they only need to deal one damage to me. Because this is dealing two and it deals one. No, they need a shock. If this is a shock, if they drew a shock up here, I lose. That does not. It stuns. So do I win? I think I win. They deal three. I kill them on the back. Uh, The backswing, right? Do I? Do I? Don't I? Do I or don't I? Uh, they block, they block, they take... Yeah, they're definitely dead, right? 
Yeah, opponent is saying good game. Um, attack. Um, oh, they conceded. That was close. We were 3-0, and that was, uh, very, very close, but, uh, Gideon's pretty good. It's pretty good, and I don't even have, like, a well-built deck. I just built with whatever I had. All right, so that's Gideon, and the name of the game with Gideon is just numbers. Numbers, numbers, numbers. You need bodies on the battlefield, and if you're playing against Gideon, the way you beat Gideon is to keep his numbers down, because if you can have three or more creatures, just the free attacks with Gideon... As you saw, that was the, the name of the game. Because they're either taking 4, 5, 6 damage per turn from this free Gideon over here. Or they're blocking it and we're just getting free value killing stuff with something that we didn't pay any mana for. Right? It's just like a free 4-4 attacking. So if you can keep their numbers down so they can't get these free Gideon attacks, that's when Gideon really struggles. And he usually beats you when he can keep numbers on the battlefield. So uh, Gideon is all about... Filling the board and playing against Gideon is about keeping those numbers down. So hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully that was useful. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.